Hi all. In today's video, we are going to be looking at remote learning using Google Meet. It is Google's video conferencing software. So at first, on your browser, we just type meet.google.com. And that will open up your Google Meet page. So th there is two ways you can start a meeting. Either you can start it now or you can schedule it at any other time or at any other day. So I will show you both here. First, let us start a meeting now. Now you will be moving to your Google Meet room. And here you can see the icon for camera and also microphone. You can switch it off. And you can press this join now button now this is your room to conduct the meeting or the online class so here you can see your meeting ID either you can copy this and give it to those who you want to be in the meeting or you can click this add people and enter their email here so that you can get them to when you send email they will get an email with that google id so with that email they can join your meeting room if they join you can see here in this the people who have joined but here no one else has joined it's only me here and here you have a chat box where your students can ask anything to you without disturbing you while you are presenting to them or talking with them. So here you can switch on your microphone and start speaking and if you want you can switch on your camera also. And now, now you can see many options here like turn on captions present screen and three dots are there in this three dots you can, will get more options like change layout here you can change the layout of your screen if you want to see 16 participants at a time they will be visible on your screen if you select the styled or you can select anything and uh, there is an option to get to see more than 16 participants but here it is not possible I will put a video on that later then you can there are more options like uh, to change it to full screen turn on captions is there again settings so I would recommend you before starting a meeting you just go to your settings and check your audio and video you can test your microphone your speakers or even even your camera you can set their resolutions you can set it to high definition depending on the bandwidth of your connection and if you want to present something to your students just click this present now there are three options there either you can present your entire screen or a window or a chrome tab so click whatever you want and you want to share it with them when you start sharing whatever is there in your screen will be visible to them so now the share button is disabled so just select it and share it now you are presenting to those who are there in your class and just see i have logged in with my another account here this is my another account and there are many options that means all your, all your students will be joining here you can see them and if you want you can if they are disturbing you in between just by saying something you can unmute them even if you unmute them they can mute it but you can unmute them and there is an option to remove that person if you remove that person they will be they will not be there in your class and there is an option like to chat so that without switching on their mic students can raise any queries and everyone else will be able to see that and here also there is options to add people after presenting your screen you can just press the stop presenting 
so now your screens won't be visible to them and the button here if you want to leave the meeting you just press it I will recommend you to leave the meeting after all your students have left else they can just continue their discussion there in this meeting so better leave after everyone has left the meeting so this is one way to start an online class when you left the meeting again if you want you can rejoin or return to your home screen i am returning to my home screen now i will show you how to schedule a meeting at any other time for that press this plus icon and you will be taken to your google calendar so here you can give a title for your meeting for example uh, grade 5 math you are taking so let us give it as grade 5 math now the time and date you can set here at uh, 10 a.m i am conducting a meeting and automatically the ending time is 11 default one hour is set for a meeting if you want you can change it here and also you can see it does not repeat here there are many options if you want this every day this class at 10 a.m you can select anything and even custom option is there so you can do it now you just add whomever you want to be in your class just type there and you we can modify guest permissions also here now just save it when you click save button a window will pop up asking would you like to send invitation emails to google calendar guest just click send so they or whomever you have added in your guest list will get an invitation an email with meeting id now if you return to your home page of google meet you can see here at 10 a.m grade 5 math meeting has been scheduled so you just come and click it here you will be moving to your meeting room as we have seen before this is how to start an online or a remote class using google meet thank you for watching